life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello guys, my name is Janiel Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm live at the America Scott Talent Auditions. We will make it to the next round? Well, you'll have to wait and see. But until then, let's take a look at some of our hopefuls. Hi, how are you? Hi, doing good. So introduce yourself to America. Hi, my name is Jason Farr. I'm 29 and I'm a saxophonist and musician. So how long have you been playing the saxophone? 15 years. Wow, that's a long time. What got you into wanting to play this? Uh, my father sang professionally for 20 years at the Sands Hotel and all over at a couple of records. And, uh, you know, listened late night to Kenny G and I was a little kid. And this has been a part of me ever since, so. I want to hear you play. Go for it. Show me what you got. All right. <laughs> Good job. I wish I had a talent. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So you said you've been doing this for 19 years, yeah, right? Yeah, what would this experience mean to you? Everything. You know, um, life and college and job, you know, and you kind of go, well, man, you know, if only I could just do this or have time to do that. And life kind of pushes that aside. And you go, well, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go for it, you know, and, and see what happens, see where it takes me. Have you been a, a big fan of the show for a yeah. while? Yeah. I, I um, actually, what kind of got me into this is uh, I saw Britain's Got Talent when I was nine. And the third place saxophone player. How we got to third place? He's he's been on tour ever since, you know. So I thought, well, hey, you know, if, if he can do it, I can. Right. I can do it too, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a shot, right? What's, what do you got to lose? Hey, following your dreams—it's never a bad idea, right? Do you have like a favorite judge on the show? Um, I like Simon. I like Howie. I like them all. I like them all, you know. Just getting in the moment, you know. And if I can communicate with people through music, because that's what it's all about, right? It's music. So. Everybody can relate to a song or an experience. And they go, oh, and if you can just, you know, that's my that's my goal is if I can communicate with just one person in the audience or just say, hey, I like that. And if they like the sound, that's all I can hope for. See, that's the thing that I like about music. I feel like it kind of reaches anybody. You don't even speak a certain language. It's just like, it's like overpowering, right? M music connects everybody across all nationalities. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what you came from, you know, it, it's music. It, it, it's part of everybody, you know. So that's that's what excites me about it, and it's you know I can take who I am, and I can put it through the instrument and hope and pray that maybe they like it. <laughs> so. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you on this show. Thank Good you. luck. I Thank love you. that you can play. Well, it's really great. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I really appreciate the time. Thank you. Gabriel, how are you? I am doing amazing today. How are you? Great. You're so adorable. I love the guitar. Thank you so much. I love to play. Can you play a little something for us? Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, the help is from the little boy. And the grunt is so what you hate. Not mad, not yet. That shit's our danger. I said they all know her name. Shit's our danger. They call her out by her name. How long have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing guitar about four or five years, and I've been singing since I could talk, and I've also been playing piano for a couple years, and I've uh, been dancing for a couple years as well. Oh, so not only can he play the guitar, but he got some moves as well. Oh, yeah. Are you going to show off these moves? Uh, maybe not today, but uh, maybe sometime I might. Save the moves for when you uh, make it on the show, right? Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 13 years old. Oh my god, you're so like composed. I don't remember what I was doing at 13. Not this, for sure. Are you nervous at all going on? Um, more excited. Yeah. Well, good luck on this show, Gabriel. It's so nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Good, how about you? Good. Introduce yourself. So, my name is Draco the Juggler. I originate from Tampa Bay. I'm a juggler primarily. That's my main focus. 
Um, the main juggling pop I use is the Diabolo, also known as Chinese yo-yo. It's an ancient juggling form that originated in China about 2,000 years ago. Um, made out of bamboo and other types of materials. Nowadays, they're made out of plastic. They have lights in them and other cool things. You said you've been doing this for 15 years. So what made you get into this? I was really lucky because in high school, I had a teacher that taught Japanese, and he was also a juggler. And we had juggling club, and I would go there every um, lunch break and after school. I practiced for like three hours a day when I was in high school. Um, eventually, I stuck with it after that. I performed. I started performing at a lot of festivals, juggling festivals, other places. Um, Great America, I do like every year. I do a fire and lights show for the California's Great America. So it has really just found itself in my heart, like a big passion of mine, definitely. The thing that's unique is that I used to have depression, and I used to be kind of a lonely person. Um, so juggling really helped me to break out of my shell. Like, you have to be not shy on stage, so it really helped me to break out of my shell and kind of overcome my depression over the years. So great that you found this to help you get through it, right? Yeah, it's been really helpful for me. And I've met so many friends from it, too. It's like, you meet so many people. And this month I'm going to Texas, I'm going to uh, Philadelphia next month, and traveling around. It's really fun. <laughs> traveling all over the place. How exciting. Well, do you have any more tricks up your sleeve? I do one of my harder ones for you. Oh, thank you. I have a bag of other juggling props, but I'm going to do this today, so I'm going to stick with these. Um, thing. Not that many people in America can do multiple diabolos at the same time. Two is pretty hard, but I could do um, three. I'll show you three right now. So let me show the lights on real fast so we can actually track them. This is so cool. <laughs> Where you have to keep multiple objects in track at the same time. Good job. Well, I look forward to seeing you perform. Thank you so much for joining me. Life, love, and pop pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.